also, like I said earlier, uh, usually you only use bombs for dire situations, but this game gives you a lot of bombs, and bombs are really good, so you just keep using them. So it also makes sense to actually just upgrade the bombs, even though usually I'd never do something like this in sh uh, shoot em ups. Usually in shoot em ups, what I do is I just go full DPS, like damage, 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 fuck everything up, I don't give a shit, and then just go for speed, speed and damage. Um, but bombs are really fucking good in this game, so I am gonna get those as well. Oh, speedy there. No, it doesn't matter. More speed. More stuff. Destroy 50 enemies. That's easy. By the way, the quests are always the same for every stage. It's just different numbers. For example, it's like... How many enemies will that? Like 50 enemies here? Or the next one is like 60 enemies? Or it's like survive for 30 seconds? Or the next one is survive for 45 seconds? Stuff like that. This music is good, by the way. Okay, we need... We need better stuff. Also, fuck upgrading health. Who needs health? I'm going be putting like one or two points in there at some point, but... I don't really gotta give a shit about health. That's the one thing I'm never actually upgrading, is health. Because if you play a bullet hell game correctly, you're not taking damage. Unless it's one of those bullet games where you have to take damage. Which are shit. I'm not playing those games. I'm not playing bullet hell games where you have to take damage. Those are stupid. Bullet hell, in good bullet hell games, you never take damage. I usually never go to the left. Well, I did then. I could just beat the stage for those coins, but nah. That's what's supposed to happen the first time I got to the stage, but it didn't happen, so I died. Okay, reload speed, capacity, let's go. Killing shit. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. I might die now, which is. But you, sometimes you can just get hit by stray bullets. Also, sometimes stuff just spawns in front of your face if you go upwards. Especially just going upwards in general in this game is really bad because stuff just spawns on the edges of the screen and just completely wrecks your face. Okay, it's not me slowing down the game, it's actually the game slowing down. When too much stuff is on the screen. It's not very well optimized in that regard. Otherwise, it's good. No, we need more damage. Can wait for the next damage upgrade. That was useless. I thought stuff would spawn on there, but nothing spawned. Fuck it. That was really dangerous. I did it anyway, I don't know why. Okay, what's time again? Oh my god. I guess I might just spread besides not besides the bombs. Because I have so many bombs. I guess I just see just so many fucking bombs in this game. Stretch 25 enemies! Damage! Might be one of those shots that actually gets stuck in the wall. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm getting closer to actually being able to do stuff in this stage, but I think I'm still not gonna be able to do that much. I will be able to get a lot of money from spamming bombs. But once I run a lot of bombs, it's gonna be not that easy. Oh, why did I bomb there? That was stupid. Also, yeah, I probably have noticed already, but once you rescue one of your friends by shooting in the face, uh, it triggers a bomb, which is good. Like right there, I'm gonna trigger a bomb by shooting my friend. Bam. It's good. That's good. Fire rate is really fucking good in this game. You should get it. And I did. Because I like fire rate. That was really fucking scary. Holy shit. Uh, I need... I need more damage. I always need more damage. There's no point in this game where you don't need more damage. Oh, I need to rescue more guys. I was so 
Going to the top of the screen is really dangerous. Don't go to the top of the screen like I did then. It's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, time for damage. Fuck it, one point in health because it's so cheap right now. I'd love to say I played through this game without upgrading health, but, you know, I still play through this game without really taking damage. Take, getting rid of one mine means you have so much space to just do everything. So, whatever, man. So, this is actually the final stage of this game. However, it's pretty fucking brutal, so I don't think we're gonna be able to do that much. But, by getting a lot of bomb upgrades, we can just spam the shit out of bombs. Yes, I am cutting shots like that. Once you have enough bombs to be able to just spam bombs in the stage, you're pretty much just fine to beat the game. You have to find a boss that isn't that hard, unless you have got like nothing left in your tank. Cool. More stuff. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Did it anyway. Oh no, I'm low on magnets. How do they work? I need okay, I need more of that. Oh, we're doing fine. We're doing really fine actually. Might be able to beat the game like this. It's gonna get it's gonna be close though. Wait, does this actually heal me? It does as well. Okay, now we're definitely beating the game, unless I do something really stupid. Oh no, I have no magnets. There we go. So much money. No, no magnets again. Sadness. Oh well, I'm supposed to get. I'm about to get a an automatic magnet anyway. Because the game is about to be done. So if you if you get here with enough bombs, you can just spam bombs, and this guy is really fucking easy. So that was um, this game. Rumble in the soup on hard mode. It's really fucking easy, guys. Really. Even on hard mode. And we survived the soup! So yeah, I might do intrusion and Nuto vs Bleach again after this. I don't know, I might do some other stuff as well because I'm in the mood for it. That was Rumble in the soup by Shibufa. Oh, there's more stuff up there. Okay, you can get more guns. More of those, and now we can keep playing the game again to get more missions. But really, at this point, it's just like, nah. Also, you might have also noticed, uh, I really didn't need that health. I mean, at one point I had zero health and then like heals to three health. But I didn't even take a hit after that. So fucking whatever, dude. I mean, actually, you know what? You can probably, uh go back to the final stage and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play through this stage again without actually doing stuff like getting refills by collecting upgrades. I'm just gonna play through the stage normally right now. Actually I got some upgrades after the boss but they weren't that substantial. This has made me a little bit better. So I'm not gonna upgrade anything. I think that's gonna be really uh, tempting to do so. Also, I might just do the final boss without using bombs. I might take some damage during it, depending on how the lasers spawn. But it's not gonna be that hard, I think. Unless, like I said, unless the lasers spawn like really fucking bad, because they're actually mostly RNG. Some of them spawn on you, but some of them are completely uh, random. So yeah, at this point it's just completely one-sided. Completely one sided. Where's my magnet? There we go. Well, that bomb was for free. I mean, even without bombs, if, if I didn't put those upgrades into bombs, I would have put those upgrades into my regular weapon. So it would have done a lot more damage to my regular weapon. So it's still not that different, actually. 
it, this game is rather simple, which is, which is alright. Okay, I was like, we have bombs. Depends on lasers. Really nice lasers so far, very nice. Easy, easy every time. So, I could play this again to get all missions, but really all missions are pretty fucking simple. You just keep doing over and over and over and over and over again until you get all the missions. It's pretty simple. The missions aren't actually that hard. Uh, it's just stuff like, don't use a single bomb, which is pretty simple. Uh, especially once you get all the upgrades, so... Yeah. That's that. That's Rumble in the Soup. See you guys next time, guys.